Today we're going to construct the altitude of a triangle. Here I have obtuse triangle HAT. Remember the altitude is the perpendicular distance from a vertex to the opposite segment or to the line containing the opposite segment. The altitude is really the height of our triangle. What I need to do is take my compass point and place it on vertex A. I'm going to adjust my compass so that I can swing an arc and hit segment HT in two spots. Then those two points of intersection are used to create the locus of points to line up with point A. And now I've constructed altitude AB and this angle ABH is 90 degrees. Now that was one of the easy altitudes. If I want to construct the altitude from vertex H, well, I know I can't go 90 degrees in this direction. So I'm going to have to con extend segment AT. Let's go ahead and do that with a different color. Now I can use that orange piece, put my compass point on vertex H, and extend my compass setting out so that I can intersect the line segment containing segment AT two times. Let's extend that compass a little wider. And there's one, and there's two. There are my two points of intersection. Remember that's going to give me my locus of points. It's almost like where the hidden treasure is found. This point will line up and give me the perpendicular distance from vertex H. There we go. And we have constructed the altitude HD. Notice that the altitude is located on the outside of the triangle, whereas this altitude is located on the inside of the triangle. If we turn our paper, we have one more altitude to find, and that is from point T. Now, T down here to HA is not going to create a 90 degree perpendicular distance. So we know the altitude is going to come down this way a bit. Let's use a different color and extend our segment HA because we're going to use really the line segment containing segment HA to construct that last altitude. Let's hope my paper is big enough. So again, I need to extend my compass so that I can intersect gotta watch your paper doesn't slip in two spots there we go then use those two points of intersection my compass is too wide now so I'm going to pull it in to find the locus of points it's going to give us that perpendicular requirement Line that up with vertex T. And now I have altitude TF, also 90 degrees. Now if you notice something, if I continue to draw the altitude so that they all meet, they all meet at a point. Wow, 
That point is called the orthocenter. And we'll learn more about the orthocenter later on.